Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday, and I'm going to be taking you along with me on the weekend for a little vlog. And it is beautiful outside. It's sunny and gorgeous. Not a cloud in the sky, but it is still a little cold. However, as you guys might know if you follow my channel as well as my husband and I's channel, The Berry Mountain Homestead, we love gardening. We love being outside. We have a channel all about gardening and homesteading. And today we are going to start doing some seed starting. We do it in kind of a different way because of our setup right now. Um, it's called winter sowing. And if you want to learn more, you can check out our channel. We're going to do a video on it today too. But um, for you guys, I'm kind of just going to take you outside with me and show you a little bit of seed starting. I have a tickle in my throat. Hold on. <laughs> Much better. Still trying to drink this whole thing. Um, cause as you know, I am pregnant and so when you're pregnant and you need a whole lot of water, I'm trying to drink at least one of these half gallons a day. If I can get in more, great. I'm so excited to start seeds. It just, it's going to feel like spring, starting seeds up again for our garden and I'm excited to take you guys outside too. I also mentioned this in my last vlog that I would share with you the baby's heartbeat. So Neva baby sent me this fetal Doppler. Um, this is not by any means sponsored, but they did send me the product for free. But regardless of they sent for free, it's a really cool product and I just want to share it with you because it's such a cool experience. So if you've been pregnant, you know the experience of going to the doctor for your checkups and they check for the fetal heart rate. I thought when I got pregnant that you would get like a bunch of ultrasounds but you really don't. Like, I didn't even get one printed yet, which kind of stinks. Um, I've been to the doctor twice, and the first time we got to see the baby, the second time we got the heart rate, like, we got to hear the heartbeat. Um, I don't think I get one printed until 20 weeks, but regardless, this is cool because you can hear the heart rate at home. So it came with the ultrasound transmission gel. I was excited that they um, also included this because I didn't know if it would and you need this. They also included a prenatal and I don't know if I'm going to take these just because I know that my doctor already approved the ones that I use. These are gummies. Um, I want to say that there's something in gummies. Is it iron? Iron cannot be put into a gummy. Maybe. I don't see iron on here. So if you, um, if I would use this, I think I would just have to get like an iron substitute. But I could supplement, I guess, for a month. If I just double check everything on here with the ones that I already have, I could do that. But I just use over-the-counter, I forget the brand, but it's like the one-a-day brand prenatal. I don't use anything fancy. I get it from Walmart, um, and I got my doctor to approve it, and she said it's totally fine. She said it actually has way more in it than I would ever need. There is a fly flying around the RV right now because it was so nice out. We had windows open. It like, just landed on the camera. Yep, it landed on the camera. <laughs> I'm so stuffy too because ah, right now um, that is a huge pregnancy symptom. I'm in my second trimester. If you haven't seen my other videos, I'm actually 14 weeks and two days now. Um, and one of the symptoms is congestion, which I usually already have congestion to begin with. So it's like extra bad for me now. I will show you the app that I use and like 
um, kind of update you on stuff that's going on with baby. But because uh, Tony and I haven't looked at the app yet for the 14th week, we always look at it together because it gives me fun stuff. Like, you know, it does the fruit thing, like how big is your baby? Um, I know it can kind of be annoying for some people, like when people post about it, but I don't want to talk to you guys about it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind chatting about it on my channel at all. And plus, I want to soak in all of this whole experience. But apparently, baby right now is the size of an orange. I did not know that. We don't know the gender yet. I'm hoping to find out soon. Um, apparently I could have found out a lot earlier if we would have gotten a blood test, but I didn't know that. So it's fine though, honestly, like I don't mind. We wouldn't have bought a ton in the first trimester anyway, um, a ton of like clothes and stuff. So really it doesn't matter. It's just like, I could honestly be surprised and be totally fine. Um, but I know Tony does not want to be surprised. He wants to know. So we're going to find out. I just don't know yet. Okay. But anyway, back to this Neva baby kit. So then it comes with the actual like transmitter thing and then the Doppler. So this is what tells you the information. There's different modes and stuff. Um, we practiced a little bit with it last night and we did get to hear the heartbeat. So I wanted to do it obviously once off camera first to like figure it out and Tony helped me he's the one that kind of like did this um and when we do it today he'll probably do it again but I first take the plastic off so everyone like do you guys love doing that I love that <laughs> and then this is the actual Doppler of what you put you know on your belly so he's doing laundry right now but when he gets back um we kind of sit down or lay down, you know, whatever. How's this going? Oh, there we go. And we can try to find baby's heartbeat. I filmed the scenes of like breakfast and stuff way earlier today. It's actually, I don't have my watch on me. Um, I think it's like ooh, 12, maybe I'm a little past 12 now because after breakfast, I sat down and edited a lot of footage of a vlog. So it is much later now actually than those morning shots. I'm starting to get a little hungry. I might make a fruit smoothie. I have been craving fruit like crazy. I talked about this in my first trimester recap. The colder the fruit, the like juicier the fruit, the better. I love fruit smoothies. I love fruit cocktail, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, like watermelon, all of those type of fruits. Love. I'm not more crazy about oranges, apples, bananas, like that doesn't do it for me, <laughs> but the other kind of fruit does. So. While I'm waiting for Tony, I think I'm going to make a fruit smoothie. I got this. I ordered it actually so that I could make smoothies at work because it's portable. And I figured I could just bring in some frozen fruit and like some protein and stuff and just keep it at work and then have this portable thing. Oh, I have to charge this. Shoot, I forgot it's dead. It comes like you can charge it. See the little slot? So that's really cool unless you forget to charge it like me. <laughs> so... I'm gonna quick charge this and then I think I'll make a little smoothie. We have a beautiful Ninja um, like smoothie blender thing, I forget what it's called. It's not one of the huge ones, but it's one that is like also portable, but not as portable as this. Let me see if I can show it to you, hold on. Okay, the actual blender is like really far into the cabinets. If you're new here, we're living in an RV because our house is getting built. Fingers crossed it is done soon. <laughs> I cannot wait to get into it. I can't wait to film in it. I can't wait to set it up and like set up the nursery and all the things. But if you know RVs, you know how deep and endless the cabinets are and how awkward they are. So I can't get the actual blender out, at least without making my head spin and get very angry. <laughs> but this is the Ninja like adaption. So you just stick this down into the blender and then lock it in and then it blends it like in your cup. Um, but the whole blender is still, you know, a decent bit and it has to be plugged in. This is chargeable. You fill it up with your goodies. You just hit the button. You don't need to have it plugged in. You could literally take this with you in the car. You could take it, I don't know, like imagine if you're not pregnant like me, you could take it on the boat. You could make margaritas. You could do whatever you want with it. It could be a lot of fun. So <laughs> these are really cool. Um, I got it online. I think I used an influencer's code, maybe. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I did. I used Casey Holmes' Blendjet code. I don't know if she still has it, but just like Google YouTube or Instagram Blendjet, you'll find someone's code and then you can get money off. We 
do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Sunday. I forget where I left off yesterday with the vlog. I think we were planting outside. After that, we went for a very nice walk and then just hang out for the rest of the night. So today, so far, I've just gotten ready and I've set up a bit because we're going to be filming a video. Um, Tony's going to be joining me for a video on my channel where we like go through all of the old wives tales about gender and like boy versus girl and like you know how there's all those things that they say if you're feeling this you might be having a boy stuff like that so we're gonna sit down and film that in a little bit and I have it all set up so if you wonder how I film in the RV this is a little peek of it um we're using the big camera today and sometimes I put it on this little travel tripod sometimes we'll put it like here but um this is my mini ring light I have another one but this has been nice because I don't like to like set up the big ring light for um, a lot of videos because it's just such a small space. So this is our step so far and we'll probably sit like where I'm standing right now. But we're going to do that in a little bit. Today I'm wearing this flowy um, like tank. You can see my slippers. But this flowy tank, I got it in a thrift I think it was like a vlog or two ago, um, but I went thrifting and I didn't find like anything, but I found this and like one other thing. Um, so it's so comfy. This is my first time wearing it and it's super flowy and it's like long in the back. So I think it'll be good for work too. And then I'm also wearing, if you can see, um, those little like those mauve pink leggings um, that I also got at Old Navy in that same video. So very cozy. Actually, let me set you down. There we go. Now maybe you can see the whole thing ignore the mess of filming in the background but this is the outfit today just being cozy and staying inside we're supposed to run errands today um but because of the time difference or like the spring forward we lost that hour and so i was like you know what let's just not go let's just stay home um we were gonna go somewhere and film for our second channel but we might just do it next weekend. So I'm just spending the day at home today. And I think while Tony's getting ready um, to film, what I'm gonna do with you guys is make some essential oil rollers. I have been trying a new essential oil company. It's the Eden's Garden essential oils. So I did a lot of research and I've been trying a few of those. But basically, as you guys know, I used to use All Young Living. In fact, like this whole thing, this is how I've been storing my oils um, since living in the RV because I don't have the ability to have that nice shelf that I used to have up that Tony made me, but I've just been storing them in one of these. I used to get all my oils from Young Living and I still have a ton of them. So I'm going through them, of course, and using all of them. I still, I love their oils, but um, I did decide to try a different company. And I just think that there's a few out there that, you know, still have amazing oils don't have the price point for a few reasons. Um, but I'm not gonna get into like why. I'm just letting you know that I am trying a new company. So this is the first one I got in the first shipment is lemon. And then I also got peppermint, which peppermint has been a big help 
I'll explain that um, in a little bit. But for when I'm pregnant, oh my gosh, peppermint has been awesome. And then I also got muscle relief because um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've always had tension headaches, muscle pain. I carry everything in my neck. And so this is a must for me. Um, it's usually a mix of like wintergreen and things for pain and stuff like that. So it's peppermint, clove. Clove is great for pain. And then the last one I got is called Good Night. The reason I got this one is because it's either, I forget, the Stress Away from Young Living Blend or the Peace and Calming. It's supposed to be the same. And if you look up the oils in the back and theirs, it is identical. So I think this one was... I don't remember, honestly. I don't remember if this is Peace and Calming or Stress Away, but it's really good. Um, it's calming, relaxing, but it also has some lime in it, so it just smells I, really good. I really like this one. Um, I got my rollers from Amazon forever ago, so I have them in this bag for now. I have seen some really pretty wood rollers. I'd love to get them, um, but I have a bunch of these left, so I'm just going to use them. So I have ones that look like this, and then I have some fancy-looking ones, too. And then usually I will put on like this. Okay, this one already says Deep Relief, which was the Young Living like muscle one. So I will put a label on it, um, either with my Cricut or just with a label maker. I don't think I have any to show you from the Cricut, but that I've done in the past. Um, I think they've like rubbed off. But my Cric Cricut is at school, and goodness knows where my, my label maker is, somewhere in our storage unit. So... I think I will just try to remember like by color or something like what they are. You can tell by smell too until I'm able to label them. So we won't be labeling to that. But basically all you do, if you're just taking a blend that's already, you know, in the bottle and diluting it, that's one thing. You can also make your own blend. I do have a whole video on my favorite roller blends. Now I will say these, I'm also thinking more like pregnancy stuff, like muscle aches. I've been getting a lot of headaches. I've been getting... Um, continued like tension in my neck. I get that too from editing and being on the computer, but um, definitely like with pregnancy and stuff, I've been using a ton of peppermint because as you know, you can't use migraine meds and stuff like that. And so peppermint has been a game changer. And you put it just on your temples, forehead. I put sometimes a little bit on my neck because a lot of times I think that's where my headaches start. But all you do is get some sort of carrier oil and I just ordered more from Amazon. And I would say Amazon is probably one of the best places to get it. Um, I looked at my Walmart and it was so expensive. So this was a lot cheaper. You get more. Okay. So the one I got is just fractionated coconut oil and then it comes with a little pump and then a regular like cat squirty cap that you can put on it. I have this little like container and it has all my goodies in it that I use to make this kind of stuff and like other things, but little funnel. I think this came with the roller bottles. Look how small and cute that is. Um, and then it also came with this, which helps you take off the caps of the rollers. And then I have extra little like actual roller, you know, um, adapters for the top to make it. So it like rolls it on. So I'm going to pull out a little funnel and one of these and then start making some. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on Opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings. Hey, y'all. So it is a bit later now. It's like I probably have the time wrong because of the time change. Yeah, it is 3:45. Um, I changed. I'm sitting on the couch right now, but I just changed into a sweatshirt and like a jacket and some leggings because I'm going to be going for a hike here soon with Dixie and my mom. Um, because it is gorgeous outside. So until I go for a walk, I'm going to sit outside and read and I wanted to share with you my 
book that I'm starting. Um, so it's by Sarah J. Mass. She's one of my favorite authors and it's Crescent City. If you've heard of this book, let me know how it's good. Well, actually, I guess it's called House of Earth and Blood, but that's when I start reading. I've heard really good things and I really like her as an author. I'm going to take the book jacket off, but look at the artwork. That is beautiful in itself. And then here's what it looks like without the jacket on. That is so pretty. So pretty. So I'm excited to start that. I'm going to sit outside because it's so nice. Um, and start this book. And then the other thing I might be doing today, and I don't even think I've ever showed you guys this, so I want to show you today. I got this a long time ago. And I've used it periodically. I just don't think, like I said, I've shown you. I think I might have shown it on Instagram. But that's it. But it is by Mandy Harvey. She um, did a collab with, the, is it Kala? Kayla? I'm not sure. Ukulele Company. I didn't watch the music competition show that she was on, but I heard the story. Basically, she plays ukulele, and she's deaf, and she, like, hears the music through her feet, so she plays barefoot. So it's a really, really cool story. Um, and then I was initially drawn to the ukulele by the design of it, and you'll see why. But then when I found out about the story of her, I just, I had to have it. So I'll open this up and show you because it's just such a special, special ukulele. And I, I dabble in it. I dabble in a lot of things. I dabble in piano. I dabble in this. I've dabbled in guitar. Um, that's just kind of how I am with my hobbies. So... I can't like just pick it up and play. I mean, I used to be able to, I haven't played in a while. Um, but I can like learn a song, learn the chords and then play it from there, you know what I mean? Definitely if I have enough time today, I want to try to get some time into play. But look how gorgeous, okay, here's the, the case it came with. Like is that not the most gorgeous thing? Absolutely beautiful. Her sister did the designs and the artwork and look at the birds. So pretty. So, so pretty. Like, it probably needs to tune. I haven't played it in a few months, but oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous, and I can't wait for when we have our house. I'm going to, like, display it and hang it on the wall. It's a work of art. It really is. That's what drew me to it the most. It's just, like, a work of art. And I wanted something that I could have and fit in the RV while we're here um, because I couldn't fit my piano anymore. And we have our guitar in the storage unit, too, so... Ukulele is perfect to have a little piece of music, like a musical instrument that can fit into our little life in the RV right now.